Salve everyone, peace to you all. Today is August the 17th, 2013, Saturday, and it's 1.50 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, today I am going to expose another liar, a known liar, and I, little by little I collect the evidence against this person. Um, they are from the job center where you get your benefits. Um, that have been harassing me from day one. Uh, the building is full of workers that are liars, deceivers, wicked. Um, and like I said, I've uh, collected enough proof. I've also, mm, let's say, I have also uh, gone to the judge for the fair hearing and uh, continuously um, continuously looking for justice uh, through the fair hearing. Always won uh, the cases that I have presented, but obviously nothing is really being done because the workers are still continuing, continuously um, doing what they always do, lie, treat people bad. Um, they believe themselves above all laws, above any, they believe themselves, you know, kind of God, um, that they could decide who is to um, get help and who isn't. Unfortunately, they are giving the help on uh, to the people that don't, um, mainly that don't really um, need it, and um, and unfortunately also, they have been sending many, 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 many innocent people without any uh, sending away many innocent people without any help. Anyway, now um, since they have targeted me from day one. Um, obviously, these people are wicked. Um, how do I know that? They even prove it by the way they, the, the symbols that they, they wear upon them. One of them also had a symbol of the owl. Um, many of them are marked. Um, and also the way they um, out forward lie in your face without, without even, without with no problems at all just you know they're just plain liars and as soon as you bring forth uh, the truth and you uh, expose them and you give the evidence that they are lying they attack you and by um, harassing you and also um, taking away your benefits which they have done to me um, more than once, especially when I needed them most, and um, and continuously doing everything possible to make uh, people's life uh, miserable and um, and leaving them homeless also at this point. Anyway, now I was sent to a work center. I um, that I have to work for my benefits. I have done that continuously. Um, working uh, for my benefits by helping every single one of you that have um, asked for help. But since they don't like that, and um, so therefore they are trying to keep me away from, uh, from helping uh, people, but that doesn't work because I always find someone to help in uh, when I'm, wherever I am. Um, at this point, like I said, they, I was sent for uh, to work for my benefits uh, and I have told them countless of times that uh, the fact that I was in a domestic violence situation um, they have never never acknowledged that even though I have given them plenty of proof uh, from my lawyers um, which they do not um, put in the system in a computer and uh, update the information and anyway, at this point, I, um, I've i gone to the domestic violence on the, um, the section on the fifth floor, and I've spoken with this woman plenty of times. 
she has lied to me plenty of times, even though she's very, very, very astute in knowing how to do it. Well, at this point, I I recorded her, and um, I'll let you hear the recording for yourself, and uh, and I know uh, I'll give you also the proof of um, how I catch her in her lies. And uh, here's the recording. Okay, I'm saying that this is um, August 15, 2013, and uh, that was on a Thursday. And I was at the building at 11.28 a.m. in the morning. Let me just say that I had... Um, the work center in, um, that I have to work for my benefits had sent them an email, had sent her an email the day before on the 14th, which I'll show you the proof of it, which I have a copy. And you're going to see how she is going to deny that she has received this email. Before I went there, I went to the building in a corner where it's also uh, for the homeless people, you know, that need a shelter. And um, I spoke with someone and they had told me, they had looked and seen that there was an email, well, at least the, she was, uh, the person, the male, was reading from, uh, from something stating that. Obviously, she didn't want uh, me to have proof that I had gone to this appointment. She does everything possible to try to um, delay, um, postpone this um, interview with her. Um, telling me to come back on the 20th, but um, I told her that I, that I was here, that the letter was sent, and that I do have the appointment with her, and um, she had no choice but to, uh, to hear me out. She makes me fill out the same papers over and over again, but nothing is being done. I can show you even the papers which I do have. 
Papers like if no. the papers are going to help you. They denied to help me with the rent also. I could have been in the streets if it was for them. They keep continuously asking for um, papers, um, documentations. I present them, and they always, and then they continue to ask for I other papers, one. and it goes I'm on and on. And then they send you from one person to another, and um, you know, like they pass the ball to somebody else, and at the end, you never get any help. And they're all covering up for one another at this point. They try to, you know, cover up for one another. So, because they know that they already have gotten themselves deep into their lives, and so at this point they, um, to hear the truth. They don't like to hear the truth. As soon as you face them with the truth, that they're like, oh, I don't want to hear that. They don't like that. They're going to pass you over to somebody else. That's what they always do, continuously pass you to somebody else. She doesn't know what to do at this point. She's getting caught in her lies. She's getting caught in her web of lies. So she passes you over to somebody else. It's confidential information she's telling me. I'm telling her I have nothing to hide. That's why it's going to be confidential. I'm not, I'm not hiding it. I want it. It's just that they know. Okay? The workers, they know. All right? 
They want people to hide. They want people, the people that are being abused, to not speak up. This is the, the um, what evil does. They want you to hide and do not tell anybody, so they could abuse you easily. Uh, if you don't speak out, you are becoming under their power, so then no one could help you. So she wants to delay. No, she wants to delay. Okay. She's doing everything possible to um, delay this appointment. First, she denies that she received the, the email. She didn't even look on her computer at all. She even say that if she really did receive it or not. If she looked before and she seen it. Or they're looking for any they're trying to catch you in anything as, as soon as you make one mistake or you miss one appointment they they are searching for that just to get you off the benefits even knowing that you really do need it as if you could even survive on this Oh, and I told her that I record these things, that, that I have uploaded this. So she, it's not like if she doesn't know that I, that I do record the conversations and I catch people in their lies. Because I even stated in this recording. It's, it was a warning for her that I am going to record the liars. And I am going to expose them. I tried to go to the court. The court didn't help me out at all. I never ended up getting a free lawyer. Just the contrary. That was when I was being evicted. I was denied a lawyer. So I never got a lawyer to help me because they were warned off and not to help me. And it was an arrogant one at that. Um, I already stated that. And then I also show her the paper from my lawyer stating that I am in uh, going through appeals. But she gives it back to me. She didn't want that. And then we're starting the whole thing. That I was being evicted because of retaliation. She's, she's practically saying that because you are living in someone's home that they could abuse you or they could do whatever they want with you. Could you Do you realize how sick thinking that this person has? Obviously, she likes the way it hurts. And I show her the letter.
you're hiding from him, right? I'm keeping away from him. I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding. Keeping away from a person doesn't mean that you're hiding. Um. Staying away from a person doesn't mean that you're hiding. I am not hiding from anybody. I am not going to hide from anybody. Um, that is what they want. They want to isolate you. They want you to stay um, isolated so you have um, no one to talk to, no one to ask help from. That's what evil does. They isolate you. They isolate their victims. You hear it constantly. I'm going to have to, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that now and not anymore, that, uh, well, I don't know what he's doing anymore, but, what in the past? Yeah. Threatening to hurt you and kill you? If he kneels, then he's watching. Okay. I'm going to split this video in two because I already pressed the 20 minutes that uh, Facebook allows to upload. That was a threat. The time was coming, you're going to get it. What did he say? When I was in his company back, uh, when I was living in the same house with them. Okay, but I'm trying to get like the same thing. So what's the same story? Well, it's something about him. Of course. You know, since I came here in 2009, and until 2000, until I went to court. And then that's it. I didn't have anything. 2009 to 2012. I don't even remember the dates. Yeah, right. I just oh. know you know what I've been through. That's it. I have recording. I don't pay attention to dates. I pay then attention to what people do before. and say. She's asking me, is there any unsafe yeah, forest? If you walk on Jamaica oh, Avenue, you will see not how not unsafe it is it's just not even not walking on the street. Everywhere could be unsafe. People get shot they're even they're just walking down the street. Because unfortunately, um, we have a government that allows guns to be legal. You're living in their house, so they could abuse you. That's what she's telling me. This is what she's saying. Gave me to live in I have a recording. He even said it in court. But when he was seeing that when I was going through the court, that's when he started to harass me. So he wanted you out of his house? My mother's house. She's, you know, it's as if she is justifying them. She's justifying them because they were abusing me, and I was, um, I was 
telling them to stop, and I went through the court also to make them stop, uh, to make him stop, and also my other family members, um, trying to seek justice, and she is justifying them that they had a right to throw me out of the house because I dared go and, um, and try to get help. You're not supposed to do that. For her, you're not supposed to go and look for help. You're supposed to just take it. She was getting frustrated because I was giving her, I was answering her. It's always uh, the supervisor. She's talking about the supervisor. I've spoken with the supervisor uh, a few times on the phone. Uh, for some reason, I have been, uh, always unable to speak with her in person because there's always an excuse uh, that she's too busy, that she has, uh, that she manages uh, many um, offices, and uh, therefore she doesn't have time. And uh, excuses are to go on and on. Once I did have an appointment with her, and at the last minute she said that she had an emergency appointment. I wonder why. The city was the fault all way. Because I know that the city is uh, behind all this. Yes, I'm talking to you. Mr. Mayor and... Um, and that was my phone that night. Strange things happen. My phone was ringing, and guess who it was? My mother. Which I did not answer at that moment. She left me a message saying that I received the mail at her house. I haven't called her back. Right at this moment, when she's talking about that. It's not happening. She said it right out. It's not happening. You're not getting help from the center. With two hundred dollars, they expect you to rent another place. She's telling you to go to the shelters, uh, domestic cell uh, shelters. You're supposed to disappear, totally or you shut up. Totally. I was totally away from the situation, from the abuse of my I was. Good. I was. Yes. 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 I was.
Yeah, she's keeping it real. She's telling you there is no hope. She said it. You can forget about that. And she's going to pass the ball over to the supervisor again. Keeping it real. You're telling me how it is. It's, there's no help. She doesn't you answer me, you. She doesn't answer you. I'm asking her, where was I supposed to go? Where is a person that's being abused supposed to go? had a last minute appointment. She First she said okay and then all of a sudden she said that she had an appointment. That she had to go to another uh, emergency that the city had called and they had organized uh, an emergency appointment. What a coincidence. She had So I've never seen this lady. I've spoken to her on the phone but I have never seen her in person. And when I said about uh, walking the streets that it's dangerous because uh, people are armed and uh, the government is not doing uh, anything about it, I am not talking about all of the government leaders. I am talking about the, the, the ones that have interest in uh, profiting from the guns, uh, money-wise and also because they are wicked and they don't really care um, they are killers so therefore they promote what they represent She was trying to say, oh, he's an old man, and you're afraid of an old man. That's what she wanted to get to. I know what they're trying to say before they even say it. Yeah. There is no age for evil. Evil is eternal. Evil, there is no end to evil unless you lock them up. And there is no logic in evil because evil is corrupted. So there is nothing logical about it. I'm 
nothing right now. The whole world is going into peace. And I don't know if you are informed, but I am well informed. I went through the internet also. I know exactly what's going on and I'm very well informed and very well She's trying to tell me that um, where is your sister? Where does she live? As if um, I'm uh, that we're in the same city. I'm still trying to understand what does she want? Where does she want me to go? Where does she want me to go? And then I started to cry because it still hurts me to think that my family has done this to me. It still hurts me. She's trying to make it look like if I'm the one that's responsible. She's turning it around. See, she's giving, um, she's justifying evil. that I was crying and tears were coming. She was very cold. Um, they not even offer me uh, a napkin even, you know, to uh, wipe my tears and nothing. She just sat there and watched. against evil. A whole broken system. Exactly. She's a social worker, but she's very cold. Don't cry. That means they're cold as ice. And I'm telling her that she's cold as ice. There's people that don't even have any tears in their eyes. Because they have no emotion. I was speaking directly to her. By the lawyers, the free lawyers, they don't help you because there is uh, they are, they're, they're not being paid also, so they don't help anyone. Only when there is something to profit out. It's only evil though. 
is slaves of money. I have a place to stay and she's trying to convince me to leave a place, a safe place to stay. I know. Okay. I know exactly what I'm talking about. So because you brought her home, I'm pretty sure you can make solid decisions. Exactly. Right, you're a grown woman. But that's why I have survived all this time. Absolutely. So, we do have an incursion to relocate. If you're crying, Incredible. They, 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 they want the victims always to leave their homes. And they asked for help over here at the center for the rights. They did not help me. Because my mother went through this whole situation before. And she accepts it. She doesn't okay. like me okay. answering her. No, 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 but I'll keep it real. Did you know everything? You should be. But again, if anything, you're in danger. Okay. 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 Okay.
can I ask, so what do you want? You want me to be dead for you to, um... I am telling her the people that keep lying are not going to survive. Anyone that covers up for evil is not going to survive. Revealing the truth. I am writing the real story of life. The laws of life. First, they tell you that you know um, that you have to be hiding in a place. You know, like you have to be in uh, in a shelter. You know, to not be out in the streets so your per uh, so that your abuser can't get to you. Then they tell you, no, you have to go to work in the streets. You know, and go out. And uh, so you see how um, they uh, contradict themselves. So I'm telling her I'm staying home. I am uh, working in a way, helping others. But then they say, no, you have to go out to go to work. So, and is there any district that you could be that you are not safe? Does that make sense to you? I haven't even had time to call her now because I had to go run back to the work program. On, on the phone, she seems like a nice person, but for some reason, she doesn't want to meet me. A person could seem nice, but that doesn't mean that they are true. A lot of people, unfortunately, um, easily manipulated and bribed. Just to keep their job, they do anything if someone tells them to. told her that I would make her hear the uh, voicemail from my lawyer that I had gotten just the day before. She didn't even, she didn't care to hear that either. Where it states that um, my, uh, about my appeal cases. No matter what, even though I know they're lying to me.
But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to expose them. She knows. That's the only the community. I am yeah. worldwide because I was having a people like me before. I am working with the government. There is some people run from the government. I tell them that there is some people from the government that I am connected with. to get another place and leave. Where am I supposed to go with um, $3 in my wallet? Hello, I don't care. I intimidate her too. I intimidate her with the truth and it bothers her. 
that have to look through your bag to see if you have any weapons or anything. We wouldn't have these problems if weapons were, they would stop developing their metal. So, um, with the guard, uh, he was helping me out, you know, with my bags because I brought all my documents with me while he was looking in my bag. And um, I told them straight out, you're not going to find any weapons on me. The only weapon you're going to see on me is the truth. And uh, he goes, oh, I like that. And he goes, I, and I told him, I go, the truth knocks down people. Right at that moment, um, the luggage, my cross, I can call it my cross, I put all my documents, hit him on the head because it was falling over. I said, you see how it knocks people down? Because that, that luggage is full of truth. And he started laughing. He understood. Oh, and then the other, when the, when she was asking me, is there any safe balls that you could uh, go to, you know, to work or anything? And I told her there is no really safe place. Uh, another thing happens. Um, another fact happens. I don't remember exactly the date. It was always at the work center in, um, in Jamaica Avenue. Anyway, I was on the elevator. There were a few of us on the elevator. Um, and there was this man. He, had, he was possessed. All of a sudden, he starts cursing really loud. You could see that he transformed. One minute he was calm, and then all of a sudden he becomes violent and starts cursing and cursing the fact uh, that they that he had to go back to work the uh, program and um, and all of a sudden he starts cursing he starts saying the f word and you know, really loud and really like it, all of a sudden the elevator was uh, shocked and scared and all of a sudden he seems like to reach for something in his pocket i said oh, we all thought that he was going to pull out a weapon or something and then he bangs i think he had like um some kind of a luggage or something in his hand um, or an umbrella, I don't remember exactly what. He bangs it really hard on the floor, on the elevator floor while the elevator was moving. And it was so loud. Um, and I told him, stop cursing. And then he turns to me and he says, don't you tell me what you, what you, um, what to say and what not to say. Really, you know, really aggressive against me. And those that were speaking to him. Um, just before we got out of the elevator, this, uh, this man had told me, just at the moment that he was half normal, uh, and he, when, um, while we were waiting for the elevator, he had told me, when God made you, he made you perfect. So therefore, you see, even, um, even the devil has to recognize who I am. Oh, anyway, this is, um, right after I left the, the, that office, I went back to the work center, and um, and I spoke with, uh, always from the domestic violence that, that, uh, that uh, gave me the, uh, that helped me to get this appointment for the, with, um, back to the, uh, to miss this one that I just spoke with before. And the one that sent her the email, and you were going to hear because I asked her then. Um, I tell her that they um, that that this I don't want to mention her, you know the, the person's name anyway. Uh, the one that I just spoke with through this whole uh, video thing, and uh, that she said that she did not receive the email. Now she um, the the one in charge tells me that. Um, 
the lady that sent the email wasn't in the office that day.